Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Today, we are going to see how to activate the plant in SAP S4 HANA. Normally, activating the plant is not available in SAP ECC, but in S4 HANA, you have to activate the plant. If you want to know, this is plant itself is an organizational structure. So if you want to know how to create an organizational structure, I have given that link in the below, in the description. Just check it out. Okay. Let me create a plant now. I'm going to create a plant. This is my S4 HANA system. Go to SPRO. I'm going to create a plant. SAP reference IMG. Enterprise structure. Definition. Logistics general. Define copy intelligent plant. Define plant. New entry. Okay. SD0 is my plant. New plant. Well, SD, SK, already there is one plant. SK0. Let me enter SK0. SK plant. Enter factory calendar. Factory calendar. And let me save this. Enter the country code. I N. Continue. Come back. Now I am going to assign this SK01 to my company code. Go to assignments. Logistics general. Assign plan to company code. New entry. My company code is 1711. It's my complaint code, company code. Okay. My plant is SK01. SK01. Now save it. Let me save it. Come back. Now let me come back. I'm going to activate the plant. Okay. OMX3. OMX3. Transaction port OMX3. OMX2 and OMX1 and CKM start transaction port. I'll just show you everything one by one. New entry. What's my valuation area? Valuation area and plant are same. SK01. My material ledger type is 9000. What do you mean by material, material ledger? Actually, you can maintain multiple currencies in material ledger for plant. You can maintain multiple currencies in the material ledger for a plant. Yeah, you can have multiple currencies like India, INR, US, USD. All those currencies you can maintain here in this 9000. That is multiple currencies. Press enter and save it. Come back. Continue. Come back. Now, yes, OMX2. OMX2. In OMX2, you don't have to do anything because I have used 9000. 9000. This, this is standard. I'm using it. Now, come back. OMX1. Go to OMX1. Position. SK0 is my valuation area. Select material ledger active. Price determination 2. Select price determination transaction based. Press enter and save it. Continue. Now go to CKM start. Come back. Let's go to CKM start. CKM start. Now execute. Test run. Let me tell you to test run. So unselect this background processing. Execute. Let me execute. Material ledger already productive. Yes, sorry. The SK0. SK0 is my plant. Execute. See? It's just a test run. Now come back. I'm going to unselect this test run, execute. See, now material ledger is active. Sorry, plant is active. I have activated the plant. If you want to deactivate the plant, the same plant, I'm going to deactivate it. Let me deactivate it. Go to SC38. But please be very much careful on in doing this. Okay. My SAP PR C 
PRCKM JX. SAP RC KM JX. Okay, this is my now execute this. See here, if you want to deactivate this plant, enter the plant. I'm going to deactivate this plant. See, deactivating the material. Execute. I'm just deactivating this. See, it's got deactivated. Now let's go to OKM, OMX3 and let's check it. OMX3. OMX3. It has got deactivated. Let me check it. Whether it has been deactivated. It's case you know. It's deactivated. O CKM start. When you go to check in CKM start, you'll you'll know it. That's what deactivate. See, now again I'm I am just executing to activate it. That is what this means. If you execute it again, it gets activated. So I have deactivated in this transaction port SC38 in this standard SAP program. You can deactivate the plant. This is how you can deactivate and activate the plant. Thank you.